<laughs> divide your list up, you can try multiple providers. Um, I've done that before. Uh, you know, maybe you try MailChimp and like GetResponse or ConvertKit or something like that and see uh, which use the exact same email, see what you're getting better open rates. Uh, then another thing that I often do is I, I kind of push people, there might be no links. The only call to action is for them to reply to me and tell me something. Because I know if somebody replies to an email that I sent them, especially if it's like through MailChimp, they're going to get all future emails. It's not going to be, you know, when Gmail continues to roll out new filters, if they reply to the email, that's like, that's a signal that, that it's not spam. It's not a news. It's not just another newsletter that there's, there's an, there's importance there. Uh, so maybe try that right away. The, the autoresponder right when people sign up, maybe ask them a question. How can I help you? But be a little bit more specific, make it about, and make it about them. But like, how can I help you? Please reply. I respond to every email, you know, something like that. All right. Just uh, interesting there that you commented, you, you split the, the list up into two, two, you know, A and B, uh, and maybe it's an equal proportion. You take them to two different email service providers. Uh, I'm just wondering if you go and do that, does that actually affect your deliverability? Because Gmail might be seeing you send emails from MailChimp and then it's coming from say um, ConvertKit. Is there, is, does that affect your deliverability um, because you're sending from two? I mean, is that a recommended or it doesn't affect you? I mean, how, how I mean, does I don't, I don't recommend it for everybody because it takes time. I think it's more important to like take action. Um, I don't think it affects deliverability. I mean, look at so many of the, you know, products out there, you get receipt emails from the domain, uh, you know, through a certain app, you get newsletters through a certain app, you get communication through the, through the product or the app from a different email service provider. You get personal emails from the people from Google apps. I, I mean, I'm sure there's like some crazy email data scientists that can give you specific numbers, but you know, I don't, I don't think it affects it. I mean, if you put both lists in each platform and people start opting out in one and then you don't clean the other list, then you might start getting hit with a bunch of spam and that will hurt you, but that's, that's not what I'm saying to do. Okay, so you really want to try to keep your, your list clean. I think that's probably the big one, right? Making sure the opt-outs are all being opted out and clean from the list because you don't want to have these two lists here and, you know, they've unsubscribed from one and they're, they're still on the other. So I think I like the idea of, you know, splitting it maybe 50-50 down the middle, having one list over here, one list over there and, and testing it out, at least for a short period of time to check the deliverability of your email service provider, make sure, you know, um, that you are delivering um, well, one might be delivering more than the other. And, and at the end of the day, I think if your emails are not being delivered, then all the rest of what we've been talking about doesn't really matter. So um, that was a really... Yeah, I think it's more important to like, just pick one and try that. Like MailChimp works well. There's a reason why so many people use it. But if you have the experience, if you have the time, if you have the bandwidth, then, may then maybe try to do it. I don't, I don't always do it. Um, and then also, like you mentioned before, having having a clean list, a million emails, if nobody's open, opening it, uh, for a project that, a side project of mine that I have, I just cleaned out like 75,000 emails. I basically looked at what people were not active over the last like, you know, 10 emails, let's say. And I just cleaned them all out. Because if these people don't want my email, that's fine. My goal is not to have some crazy size list. My goal is to have a list that wants what we're providing.